Come on, start the vlog with me. Come on then, darling. There you go, you sit there. Let's start the vlog together. Good boy. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, Hattie Homemaking. So I just had the urge today to do another one of my homemaking vlogs. I've really been enjoying doing my podcasts recently and I've had so much positive feedback, so I'm definitely gonna keep doing them. But today I just felt the urge to do a homemaking vlog. I don't know whether we're gonna do it over one day or over a couple of days, but the long and short of it is I feel like over the next couple of months, I'm gonna have a lot more time um, just to do my hobby and the things I want to do. I've put an application in to reduce my hours in work and that will just give me, sorry my hair is sticking to my lip, um, that will just give me a lot more time to do a lot of practicing what I preach about slowing down and self-care, looking after yourself and all that thing, all those things. So I just thought I would start the vlog today. Um, it's mid-morning, I've already stripped the bed and um, the bed sheets are in the tumble dryer, so I'm just waiting for them to finish and then I will remake the bed. This is Murphy's little blanket that I put down on him. For him, don't worry, he's not just on the plain bed. Um, but he's comfy, he loves that blanket. So he's just chilling there. And then I think I'm gonna nip to the library today. I have just got out of reading um, recently. I read a few books, and you know when you read a couple of books on the bounce that you just can't get into? And then it kind of just, I don't know, it just, you lose your flow, I think, with reading after that happens. So I'm going to go to the library and pick out a couple of books and try and get back into reading. I have been listening to audiobooks. So I've been listening to Michelle Obama's autobiography um, while I go on walks. I'm only like chapter two in, but so far it's super interesting. I'm really enjoying it. And it is narrated by her as well. So yeah, it's just nice to listen to. So I'm just going to have a nice chill day today. I think I'm just going to go to the library, do some cleaning and yeah, just see where the day takes us. I've got something on my mind I bet you know what I'm thinking about You know I can't stop loving you Every time when you're looking at me It feels like my heart is keeping on beat, yeah you know I can't live without you You make me crazy In a good way So come on baby Let's talk Let's talk about love Like you and me all night And let's talk about love And feel it alright And let's talk about love Yeah baby come and dance with me I'll just quickly show you my outfit as well so I've really been into just wearing like very plain clothes recently like more plain colors and just more things I can kind of just throw on please excuse my dirty mirror that is on my to-do list <laughs> I feel like because it's in the bedroom it does gather a lot of dust as well um but I'm just wearing like plain leggings plain black boots and then this sort of it's like um like one of those tank tops it's made sort of out of lycra and it's a bit higher neck um so you can wear these they look really nice tucked into skirts and things and then i got this cardigan i absolutely love it it's actually a beach cover up but every time i wear it i've had compliments on it it was from river island and it was actually in the like beachy section like next to all the bikinis so i'm pretty sure it is a beach cover up but i just wear it as a cardigan i absolutely love it also, just a note about my hair, I chopped off like literally about that much, maybe a bit more. <laughs> one day, I just did it by myself. Um, it was after, I, it looks wonky actually in the mirror, but it's not wonky, I promise. It's because I curled it as well yesterday, so they're all like sort of falling out. But I watched Clueless and you know how she always like flicks her hair and it's all flicky and it's a bit shorter. And I just had the urge to try and create her hair. So I'm not sure, it's all right. I feel like with my hair, it grows back so quickly anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Anyway, let's go to the library. <laughs>
So I'm back from the library, I have my books. I'm just gonna tell you about the ones I've got. So I really wanted to find one um, by Colleen Hoover. Um, it's called It Ends With Us and I see loads of people. Do you wanna come up a little one? Go on then, you go on the blanket. Um, I've seen loads of people talking about it. It's called End It Ends With Us by Colleen Hoover. So I was looking for that but I couldn't find it. So, um, They've ordered it in for me, so hopefully that will come in the next couple of days and I'll have that as well. So the first one I got is this. I'm out of breath. Oh, good grief. Take a deep breath, Hattie, and build your fitness levels back up, please. Note to future self, get on your exercise bike. Um, <laughs> so I got this one um, from Cal Carol Matthews. I've read one of her books before. I did ages ago post an Instagram story asking for recommendations for just nice, easy to read books and Carol Matthews came up. So another little tip, when I'm in the library and I see a book and I'm not sure whether it's going to be good I have an app called Goodreads and I search it and have a look at the reviews not like I don't read the reviews because sometimes there are spoilers in there I just have a look at the star rating don't take it too seriously though if there's like an author you know you like people can be quite critical like especially if they're avid book readers they can be quite critical sometimes whereas I just like a good book with a couple of twists in I'm not a literacy expert so it doesn't take much to impress me <laughs> so I got this one um that loving feeling so I thought I'd get that it just looks like maybe a romancy type one and then I got this one by Adele Parks called lies 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 so I have read one of her books recently um just my look I shown it you when I was in the library it was absolutely incredible but it was about this couple that won the lottery and just I can't even begin to say how good it was it just yeah there's all sorts of twists and turns and it's just really good so I thought I would get another one of her books I realized after reading just my look that maybe I do like something with a bit of a twisty turny not so light-hearted moments <laughs> in because I genuinely couldn't put it down I read it in about two days so I'm gonna give this a try and then maybe I might dabble a little bit in the like thriller genre nothing too scary nothing's gonna keep me up at night but just a little bit that's like oh I really want to find out what happens and will keep me reading so I'm gonna start with this one um because I feel like it's going to get me hooked quickly and that's what I need to get me back into reading. Then I'll go on to the Carol Matthews one and then I will pick up that Colleen Hoover one. I know loads of people have read that Colleen Hoover one and it's talked about a lot within like the book sphere on TikTok and things like that. So if you have read it, please, 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 no spoilers. Um, so I'm going to give that a read and yeah I'm gonna get a cup of tea now I think and just chill on the sofa and I might start one of these books. So I'm just about to make a cup of tea but I thought I'd just show you these cute little mugs that I got from Etsy. They did arrive sadly this one two of them had like little chips in so the lady did refund me for the ones that had chips in it was just this little sheep one and the um, hedgehog so she's gonna let me know when they're back in stock but you know what I might not actually buy them again and you genuinely can't really tell that they're trapped, um, chapped, not chapped, what's the word, chipped, there we go, wow, my brain was working slow then, <laughs> um, you can't really tell once they're hung up, and I just wanted them more for decoration, they are lovely to drink out of, I've been drinking out of this hair one, isn't it cute, but I just wanted sort of like farmhousey vibes, oh yeah, you can tell I've been drinking out of that because of the tea stain, if anyone's got any good methods for getting tea stains out that are a bit more, like, less chemical, because the only thing 
I can either do is either like a little bleach in them with some water and then leave it and then it comes out really well. Um, obviously it works if you scrub it but sometimes the tea stains are just in really awkward places to get to. Um, I'm really digressing here aren't I? And then sometimes a magic sponge works as well but on that little robin one as well. So I think what I'm going to do is probably just leave them there for decoration, not buy a new ones, save my money and then I mean... I'm definitely not short of mugs. I'm obsessed with mugs. Like seriously obsessed with mugs. I really love them. How many have I got with the letter H on? <laughs> wow, that looks really narcissistic. But the only reason is because people buy me them. So, and I don't even really drink out the H ones Paul does because they're a bit smaller. I think I'm gonna go for this giant, kind of gorgeous one. It's like the size of a bowl. relaxing afternoon and I'm now dressed to go horse riding so I've not actually spoke about this on my channel before um I've only spoke about it on Instagram but basically I'm really into horse riding I've um been a horse I thought there was a mark on my face but it's a mark on my camera <laughs> I've been into horse riding literally since I think I was about four like literally on the lead rein and then um I had my um well not my own horse I part loaned a horse when I was younger and then I had to give them up when I went to university and then I had a couple of years where I didn't get back into it and I really, really missed it. So last year I found a part loan. Her name was Millie. She was gorgeous. But the only option was for hacking on the roads. So there wasn't any inside school or outside school. It was all just on the roads. And Millie had separation anxiety from the other horses in her field. So literally mid-hack, in the middle of a road, she would just turn round. And anyone who horse rides knows that, yes, I can correct her and get her on the right path and get a moving again which I always did do but it just happened too frequently for me to be able to enjoy it I was just always so anxious and there were a lot of really fast like tractors and things that went around those little country lanes so I decided to give her up but a couple of months ago I was looking online and I found the horse that I've got now his name is Freddo and his mum <laughs> well his current owner she is um in her 50s 60s and um, I don't know exactly that's why I got kind of a broad um, range but she had two horses and she was really struggling to keep up with both of them um, and ride them and things so she was looking for someone just to help out really with Freddo I don't have to pay anything which is absolutely amazing I always say to Paul I've somehow managed to make the most expensive hobby that possibly you can do <laughs> I've made it free so that's where I'm gonna go now um, I'm not gonna bring my main camera I'm just gonna bring my little um my phone one and just um I'll get some clips of him just to introduce him to the vlog Murphy's like excuse me people I am still the most important animal that will be on this YouTube channel no one will beat me <laughs> I've been trying to be 
just for a while Trying to please everyone who's around me I've been putting on my fake smile Even though I'm wasting time I don't want to be trapped in a box Trying to be like the rest when I'm not I just want to go my own way Gonna let the past burn down Cause honestly don't wanna be Stuck in boring conversations with you With you I'm gonna leave it all behind Find myself, I'm gonna start with you Hello again everyone. So it is a good week and a half later from when I last filmed and I completely ditched that vlog while I was going to um, but I thought instead let's just restart. I'll explain what happened. <laughs> so that night um, I was going to see Freddo and it was all nice and relaxing. Went to go and ride him and as I was getting on him he was just he was in a bit of a weird funk like I think horse flies were bothering him and he just was not in the mood so he kept walking forwards and backwards as I was trying to get on him so in the end I put him in the corner of the school of the little paddock and I got on it on him there and it was fine I got on but as I was putting my second stirrup on he went to walk forward I then stopped him went to put it on again he then walked forward again and because we were in the corner of the school my stirrup hit um like the little wooden um gate thing and then at the same time i think a bird must have flew out or something spooked him so he then went galloping off and i was there without a stirrup and my balance wasn't quite set up yet because i just got off and i think he booked i don't know what happened but basically i fell off and had a really really bad fall i landed like literally face first luckily nothing was broken nothing was seriously hurt it was just a huge shock to the system a huge pride knock my eye was a bit swollen here and bruised my nose was all red and a little bit bruised the next day and my shin is still really swollen and bruised from it but apart from that I got away unscathed luckily so I was really really upset that night because I I'm a very like careful sensible person I don't like adrenaline like I don't go on roller coasters or anything like that and it made me feel like I just don't want to ride again um and obviously I was really upset because I didn't want to give it up it's like such a relaxing hobby and I enjoy it so much I get so much out of it so I was really upset anyway so I just completely ditched the vlog the other reason as well I ditched the vlog and another reason why I was upset that night is because I filmed myself grooming him and other things and recently I have been eating absolute trash and not been working out and I was just so bloated and holding on to a lot of water and I really felt you could see it in the clips and I know that sounds I don't know like a little bit superficial but it's how I felt and I'm sure we all know the feeling don't you when you see a picture of yourself and you just get that sinking feeling like oh I really hate the way I look in that and that's how I felt about those clips you probably won't be able to tell because when I edit this video I am gonna edit out like the bits where you can really see me just because I'm, I'm so self-conscious of it so um, they were the two reasons why I just kind of left the vlog for a week and a half since then I have been back yesterday Paul came up with me and I rode I was so happy I said to myself even if I just get on today that's enough like even if I just get on him do like one loop around and get off that's enough to get me back started but I actually had a really good session we did some walking trotting um just the basics stop starting and slowly I felt okay I can do this the only change I'm now going to make is I'm always going to make sure someone's with me because I had that moment of if something was broke or I was seriously hurt there's no one around and that really freaked me out so that's one change I'm going to make now there's always going to be someone with me when I ride but I'm not going to give it up I'm still going to be going at least once a week so there's that the weight thing it gave me just a bit of a so I lost loads of weight for the wedding and after the wedding I've just been celebrating you know living life and I have gained quite a bit of weight back and it's just given me a moment of realisation it's not like a um I hate myself blah 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 all that it's just I need to nip this in the bud because I can see how this could escalate to gaining more and more and more so I've been on the bike 
behind me <laughs> every single day since and I'm feeling a lot better and I've just been a bit mindful about my choices. We in our family, as you know, I like baking a lot so we've always got cakes and sweet stuff around so it's just I'm being more conscious of that. My meals aren't bad at all and I've actually got a really small appetite for meals so I don't eat that much at meal time. It's just those additional sweets and um, treats and little snacks in the day so I'm just being a bit more mindful about that. So we're going to pick this vlog back up I'm feeling better I'm in a better place I'm already feeling like I've lost loads of water weight just from a couple of sessions on the bike so I'm feeling better about that but I thought I'd give you an update as well on the books I picked up so it's only been a week and a half and I finished this one if I'm honest I wouldn't hugely recommend it based on the fact it is so dark if you like dark thrillery books then you'll like this but it was just a bit darker than i wanted like there was a child involved and um a poor little kitten i, I don't even want to say it in case it upsets anyone um but yeah it's a bit triggering especially domestic abuse as well that's in there so just just be warned <laughs> but um i'm now reading the carol matthews one i'm about that much into it um this one seems a lot lighter and I'm enjoying it so far, but I'll give you an update. Anyway, so now we're restarting the vlog. It's a Sunday. I've only got about half an hour and then I'm going round to Paul's parents for my usual Sunday roast dinner. He's out playing golf and he's going to pick me up in half an hour. So I'm just going to quickly get some laundry tidied away and then we'll go for my Sunday lunch. So this is the current state of this back room. It's become a bit of a laundry sorting area. I got to the stage where I just had loads to do. So I did about two or three um, laundry loads within two days. So now I've got all this to sort out. So I'm just gonna do this now quickly before I go for my roast.
Okay, so I'm back from um, Sunday roast dinner now and I have just set up to do a podcast. I thought I'd just quickly show you my setup. A few people have mentioned to me that they also want to do a podcast and it's so much easier than I thought it would be. So I ordered this um, microphone and the stand and then this little cover thing as well, which kind of like muffles so people can't hear you breathing as much which is always good for me so i got this off amazon it was um i think it's the samson q10 set and then all you do is plug in via usb and then for me i record using imovie just because imovie is what i use to edit my videos so i'm really familiar with it so all i do i'll put like a little picture in here as the background um, and then to press record all you've got to do is click here the little microphone thing then I just make sure it's set up definitely for the oh sorry it's not the Q10 it's the Q2U microphone so click on that and then all you have to do is press go it might not work at the moment because I've not got a picture as the background yet it won't so I have to have a picture as the background first and that's literally all I have to do. So I'm going to record my podcast now. This episode is talking about being a people pleaser, which I certainly am. <laughs> so this um, podcast will probably be up before this video. So if you're interested on my thoughts on being a people pleaser, then go and give that a watch. morning everyone so I thought for this section of the vlog I would share with you a couple of things I got from the charity shop I'm just having my morning cup of tea today is a makeup free day I normally have my cup of tea and do a makeup at the same time it's like my little morning ritual and I really enjoy it but today I'm gonna be out in the garden I might be doing some power washing and things like that and I just don't want anything on my face because it's gonna get quite muddy so I'm just having my cup of tea standing up and I just thought I'd finish this video today. So we went to um, the charity shops the other day um, and I got so lucky. So outside Age UK, there was a sign saying all clothing items, one pound today. And I overheard them talking and it's because they're putting the winter stuff out tomorrow. Although some of the stuff kind of was wintery, so. I don't know but anyway I got lucky everything was one pound so I went a little bit crazy well not like crazy but I just got things that I probably wouldn't have done if they were normal price um it was kind of my opportunity to try things out as well so the first thing I got is this black um it's sort of like a velvety dress and then it's got like a ruching in the middle so I just thought this would be really um flattering for my shape and I thought it'd be really nice for over Christmas time as well I have got like a hourglass figure so anything that comes in at the waist really works for me and I was watching like a style video on the Kibby body types and um, a girl said if you're anything that's leaning more towards um was it the yin the yin, the yin, the more curvy side. I think it's the yin side. If you lean anything towards the more yin side, which I definitely am, then velvet and like soft fabrics really work for you. So I saw this and I thought for a pound, even if I didn't like it, I could just give it back. But I've tried it on and the only thing is the sleeves look a little bit big. I've like, for my body shape, I'm really like, I'm like curvy, but then my legs and my arms just don't hold that much weight like I hold all my weight sort of like in the middle and on my face so a lot of like dresses and things if they've got longer arms they usually look really baggy on my arms um but to be fair I was thinking that I could maybe 
try and take them in maybe a little bit my sewing machine although I'm not the best at sewing I don't want to ruin it but it's fine anyway I think this would look really nice with some tights and boots as well in winter time so I was really happy with that for a pound I'm definitely going to get my wear out of it the next thing I got was this um what's it called sweatshirt no fleece fleece <laughs> fleece jumper and again it was a pound i just love this like mint blue color it's actually quite a good make as well it's the regatta great outdoors make um this was originally put on the tag i think for about eight pound and then i got it for one um and i love wearing stuff like this to go and see freddo the horse <laughs> freddo the horse um when it's a bit colder it's just cozy and you feel all like wrapped up and snug um so again for a pound i've got a couple of these now i think this is about the third one i've got but you do need them a lot like when you're going up in winter time it's cold and muddy so everything you wear probably you have to wash straight after so it's good just to have an extra one of these on the same freddo topic i got this gilet this is not my color bright red does not work for me i actually don't want to hold it too close to my face because it's so unflattering <laughs> um but gilets again are really good for horse riding in the winter because your arms are free so you can wear like that jumper underneath and be all cozy but then like not have a coat where you feel too like tight riding um, so I got this, I'm not 100% sure about it, it's a little bit tight like around my stomach and stuff and I'm just not 100% sure because I want to be wearing like a thick jumper, jumper under it during winter time and it kind of was tight just wearing a t-shirt so I'll have to say, like I mentioned earlier in this video, I do have a little bit of weight to lose but whether I'm actually going to lose it easily or not is another topic <laughs> but I can always try but do you know what it was a pound if I don't use it I'll just give it back to charity and then finally so this was from a different shop so this was not one pound unfortunately um but I saw this coat and I just couldn't get over it it's essentially brand new it's a brand new black coat it's got this um almost like padding at the top and then when you unzip it let me show you there it is a hood that comes out how good is that so this was it looks brand new and it is from next should i put it on and it comes down like quite long as well and it's just the perfect walking murphy coat and then the um the pockets have got fleeces and fleece lining in them as well so it's nice and warm this was 18 pound so at first I was like £18 for a charity shop and I left it. We drove all the way home and I was like, Paul, I can't stop thinking about that coat. So he had to drive me back, wait outside for me while I ran in and got it. <laughs> but I'm really happy I did because I always think with situations like that, think about cost per wear. If it was just like a top or something that I knew I wasn't going to wear that much, I would definitely not pay £18 for something but because it's a coat that i'm literally gonna wear all winter and then probably for more winters to come it was definitely worth it so um that's everything clothes related and then let me just show you this so in another shop i was looking for a frame i was watching my friend living the life you love Kay's vlog and she dried some hydrangeas and put it in a frame and it looked so nice so i wanted to copy so i've already picked my hydrangeas i picked them out of my um, mother-in-law's garden because she had some really nice colors um, so they're currently drying i'm going to get them out after this clip and see what they look like but i was looking for a frame because i don't have any frames in my house that are not filled with pictures that are too sentimental to take out so i bought this frame it's about a4 and it's two pound and what i'm gonna do i was thinking of painting it white actually or more like a shabby chic but actually i quite like the pine i know it's not very in fashion but sometimes I find a little bit of pine or a little bit of wood in a room that is like white and light. It can just bring a little bit of warmth in, I think, sometimes. So what I'm going to do is just put some watercolour paper for the background and then see if my dried hydrangeas turn out well, then I'll put them in there. If they don't turn out well, then I'm going to try my hand at some acrylic painting and just paint a couple of flowers but we'll see what happens. So I'm gonna finish my cup of tea now 
and then I'm going to take you along with me for seeing how my um, hydrangeas turn out. <laughs> Okay, so these are my three options for what I got. I only picked hydrangeas, by the way, because I watched from Kay's videos that they turned out the best. I think out of those three, this is definitely the nicest. I just like how the leaves fall. That one, the stem is just cut a little bit too small. That one, I love the blue showing through, um, but I just don't think the leaves look as good as this. And actually, I think the flower looks nicer as well. So I'm going to use that one. I'm going to put it together now and see what it looks like. To be afraid to fall in love. My past relationship was a disaster, but now I don't care. Cause you took my scars, bruises, and broken hearts. I've just spent ages going around my house testing out different places and I've settled on this little corner sort of in my hallway so for reference my Welsh dresser is there some wedding pictures and then this little I just thought because the wall in the background here is purple it ties in with the hydrangea really nicely so I'm happy with that are you happy with that with your little toy in your mouth you little cutie bear He's so cute. He just follows me round of the morning everywhere I go. Don't you? He wants me to sit down on the sofa. He feels like he can't sit down till I do. So come on, Mum. Come on. What are you waiting for, Mum? <laughs> So it is now a couple of hours later. I'm still in my pyjamas and it's 12 o'clock. I never do this anymore. I used to do it all the time when I was a student. Um, and then occasionally like when I'm ill or having a very lazy day, but this is very rare. So I'm really enjoying it actually. Um, I've just done that um, hydrangea, put that up. And I've been editing this vlog. I really enjoyed editing this vlog. Um, and I felt because I filmed it over a couple of days, it just seems a lot more natural maybe and less rushed so I'm gonna um keep vlogging I think over the next couple of weeks and do more vlogs like this um taking the pressure off to upload weekly is really really helped and then also I'm gonna be going part-time or hopefully soon um in work I'm still waiting for it all to be approved and then I might need to help train someone else and things but um yes soon i will my hours will be a lot lot less and i will have more time for homemaking and all the things i want to do which i'm excited about so i'll have more time um for youtube as well so i hope you have enjoyed this vlog thank you so much for anyone who messages me or comments saying they miss my vlogs it is a very nice feeling and it does sometimes just give me that little kick up the bum i need to get going again so i hope you have enjoyed this one i will um this will probably be up on a sunday so then you'll next see me on wednesday for another podcast and then hopefully in another couple of weeks with another vlog so Please give this a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I will see you next time.